Hello everybody and welcome back to Metroid Deluxe and we are done with Ridley and back in Bubble Land thankfully. Much much nicer music and visuals. You can't really go wrong with an 8-bit bubble. And I can't go wrong if I make this jump once. Here we go. So yeah, all I have left do is find terrain. I think I might know where it is. And I have to go this way. But I may not know. It may not be it. I, I, yeah, let's just run straight to the lava. That's brilliant. And this, I don't think it is really. Yeah. This whole conglomeration of weird. Oh, that was stupid. This thing is just weird. I don't... Good. It's actually pretty effective at making you have Ice Beam, but... That thing is weird. Okay, now I just need to find my way out of... Behind High Jump. This way, I believe. I know it's to the right, obviously. That part's kind of hard to forget. Look at all these bubbles. And maybe that's not right. Unless this is actually. Oh, good lord. Where does one go to exit this place? This doesn't look like it. Oh well, I didn't collect this, so well, this works. So what, now I'm only two missiles short of finding everything? If the totals are the same, I found quite a bit of stuff. Even more padded entrance. I don't know if he changed Mother Brain's health or whatever. And again, that is something that really confuses me. Why are beams, missile damage, and such so weird in the game? Like, especially with Super. You've got these beams. Instead of Power Beam dealing the weakest one, it, j but they don't have it dealing one damage. Get up there. Thank you. It deals some other number that's higher up. Why is that? No, the weak enemies that only get, that get destroyed in one hit with the power beam don't have one health. What in the world? That, that does not make sense to me. It's like it's so much simpler if you build it up with as small numbers as possible. Why you put these bigger numbers in to accomplish the same exact thing does nothing. It literally just makes you work with bigger numbers. That is the only thing it does. And that just isn't really one of the things that I want to do, so... No. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure there was a reason for it. I just don't really... I can't really think of that. I think it might really make sense, but... I was probably wrong. They probably had a very good reason for it. And here should be... My elevator, right? Oh, good. Well, that wasn't too bad. Collected a new missile and got out of here. Fortunately, we do leave Bubble Land, but that's just why is it better? Okay, so now all I've got to do, I've got one for sure spot I can check. It requires Ice Beam. After that, if that's not terrain, I don't know where it is. 
that will require some looking around. That would just about be the biggest Metroid one troll you could have. You could have a really good hat going. And then just leave out terrain. Because a player's looking all over the place for terrain. And they can't find it just because you never put it in. So they can't actually beat the game. That's that would just be mean. It's a very interesting idea. I, despite that being mean, I'm still kind of interested to find out like what kind of feedback you would get from something like that. I'm like, otherwise, it's like one of the best hacks I've ever played. It's just this is not where I want to go. Well, a steel wall. Okay, got lost track with my own dumb ideas. But yeah, I mean, otherwise, what kind of feedback would someone get for that? They make a really, really good hack, and then, oh hey, I didn't put Tarin in, there's no way to beat it. I'm pretty sure you get. Well, it's probably would be referred to more as hate mail than anything else. I'm not sure many people would be willing to give constructive criticism <laughs> after discovering that, but... And I am... Falling. And pellets. See, even the silver looks good in this stuff. Oh, I, why did you keep this gold? You could have used the silver. No, they just... Some things like that just irritate me sometimes. Maybe irritate's the wrong word. But... Like if you change the palette, it's... Sure, it's not the most exciting thing to do, but... It's something you probably should do. I mean, this is a brand new hacks. Hacks? That's a brand new hacks, people. I mean, it's a different game. You've changed palettes elsewhere. Why leave that one thing gold? Maybe you really like it, so maybe that's why. And he also had the purple bubbles, which are really good. I was ouch. Good grief. A bastard blasted me in my ear. Now, this lettuce leaf can... Ouch. You up here? Oh, good. Can I make this? Oh, good. Oh, hey, shot blocks. Oh. Okay, so there is a door up here. Oh, that's... Uh, if this is the entrance train, again, that is a pretty out there thing to require the player to do. I really do actually like this hack, but there are some things in here that there is like no way I would ever it's almost I would almost consider it equal to making the player have to mock ball or infinite bomb jump in Super Metroid. I mean yeah, I can do them. I don't personally think they're that hard. But I won't require them because people do have issues. And this is turning, of course. Okay. Yeah, there are really some things in here that I just would not require a player to do. But, oh well. And wonderful terrain. There's Metroids. Bloop bloop. Space jellyfish with teeth. And the ten missile door. You know, there were no ten missile doors in Super. I was kind of expecting when I was first playing that the super missile doors could be opened by ten missiles. I actually tested that. Even though it didn't look like the missiles were doing anything. And yeah, it's, it doesn't happen. You need supers. I was not dumb enough to try 10 missiles on a powerbomb door, though. I 
think I learned my lesson after the Super Missile Door. And the sad thing about that is, I actually had Super Missiles, and I knew Super Missiles opened that door. I just wanted to test the regular missiles, which turned out so well for me, obviously. The Rinkas in this game are deadly. Good grief, get off me. Stupid Cheerios. So like fried donuts. It's like calories coming to attack you. And these Metroids are not leaving missiles at all. Get up here. And I could use a little bit of health, obviously, but... And I still have plenty of missiles. I just like keeping closer to maximum, so that way I have plenty to spare. That way I don't have to be... judicious with my missiles, and that really helps. 250, that's... They see that, I don't mind requiring as much as... Some of the other little physics abuses that's been in here. Running through lava, sure, why not? And I don't like the choice. The one in here? Or is this just another brain? Okay. And the one. Here. I like how for mother brain, it sounds more like a heart beating music. <laughs> like, hmm, that's not quite a brain. That's a completely different muscle. However, I'm pretty sure a beating heart sounds a lot more scary than a brain. How whatever a brain sounds like. I'm not even sure brains make sounds. Oh, good. Okay, at least I got that open. I just need a Rinka down here. And this is why we like him. Just for stuff like this. And, oh, well, there's a platform in this one, okay. And there's a Rinka right in front of my face, because why not? You shall not pass. Okay, it's just one of them left. And these vicious Rinkas. I'm telling you, these Rinkas are the most deadly thing in Metroid. In this game, it's Rinkas that are the biggest issue. It's not even, it's not the Metroids. Metroids are super deadly because of the Rinkas. These things are seriously the most evil enemy in the game. And in this game, they are perfectly placed in spots where you... I mean, even in the original Metroid, they were placed in spots where you can't avoid them. They are going to hit you. Mostly when passing through doors. You have to get very fortunate to make it through. some of the doors on the original and not get hit by Rinkas. And that didn't work. Why is... I don't even... I don't... Okay. Big platforms in. Why is that little platform right on top of the bigger platform? That makes... Hello. Then again, looking for sense in a Metro hack may not be the smartest thing to do. Oh, anyway, that was Metroid Deluxe. I almost said Adventure. It's Metroid Deluxe. Well, we fulfilled our mission. It will revive Peace and Space. There's no doubt about that, apparently. But it will be. It will revive Peace and Space, but it may be invaded by the one. Okay, there we go. You think with how many times I've seen that screen, I would know that. And I didn't finish the game fast enough. So if we did not know, now we're even more confused. It's either a very 
A girl or a guy with a huge red afro. So anyway, that was Metroid Deluxe. It was actually really, really interesting. There's a lot of fun stuff in there. I liked it. There's some stuff I definitely would not require the player to do. There is just some stuff in there that is just no. I mean, the physics abuse just to get to the first missiles where you morph, unmorph, jump out. Like, not everybody knows that. Um, what else was there? Here's some of this. The item progression is really interesting. I was not expecting what I got early on. I got way beam before. Cake or death, that's an interesting beta testing name. Yeah, I was not expecting what you've been before bombs or ice or missiles. So yeah, that was interesting. Overall, this was a really interesting little hack. I would not suggest it if you were not very good with the original Metroid. Just because it does require these physics things and whatnot. Metdukes. Did you spell Deluxe? I don't know if there wasn't enough space or not, but well. So anyway, that was Metroid Deluxe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you for... Who knows what? I don't know what's next. Whatever it is, we'll see you for that.